Hey guys, Clank and Quasar here back again with another Mass Effect Andromeda video. And in this video, I'm actually going to be using what I believe to be the worst assault rifle in the game. As far as I know, what I'm going to be doing, the reason I'm doing this is because I've wanted to see how well it can actually perform. Like when it's put to its max, because when I last used this gun, I was quite inexperienced at this game. I uh, got it quite early on, but I've used it recently. I do not like it. I really don't like it, but I thought I'd sort of push it as far as I can via weapon mods that increase the damage and sort of uh, I'm using an assault rifle boost that increases damage and I'm going to be using the Torrent Havoc Trooper which has some abilities that will you know increase the performance of this gun and I'm just going to see how you know sort of how much I can improve it. It's called the Zalkin. It's a Ket uh, assault rifle. I believe this weapon is the one that all of the, uh, I think they're called Chosen. All of those dudes, are they Chosen? Yeah, those dudes down there, I think it's the weapon that they use. I'm not sure, but uh, it sort of, you know, acts like the weapons that they use. It looks a lot like it and, you know, it, I, th I think it is. I think it is the weapon that they use, but as you can see, it doesn't do very much damage at all. Like the assault rifles in Mass Effect Andromeda are generally terrible. There's a few good ones, but assault rifles have to be like really good to actually, you know, be usable in this game because they're just so underpowered. Now this this gun actually has two fire modes. You can char charge it and hold it down and that does like a burst shot I guess. It seems like I, I would assume that that does more damage but whenever I do the burst shot it seems to do like a lot less damage. I'll show you now. I'll charge up the shot right now. Watch this. So it did about I don't know like 30% took 30% of his health off but the problem with that is it takes quite a lot to charge uh, like you actually you actually have to charge it down and hold the button down quite a while before it actually properly charges and you don't get that much of a, a damage increase by doing that so look I, I would just if I were you if you're going to use this weapon or for some reason you want to use this weapon just use the normal fire mode like if, you know just normally pressing the trigger that that will work and it works better you've got a much better fire rate you've got basically a semi-automatic fire rate then as opposed to like a charge a three round burst. Now, what the reason I'm using the Turin Havoc Trooper for anyone that doesn't know, he's got a turbocharge ability that actually increases the clip size and increases the, uh, the the rate of fire, which is quite useful for this weapon and any really any weapon that hasn't hasn't got very you know very good or very high damage because increasing the rate of fire means that you're going to be able to put more damage, put a higher damage output out on you know whoever you're shooting at. You know you're going to be able to put more damage out in a shorter amount of time because you're going to be hitting them with a lot more bullets. Now, it, it looks really bad, like it just like, you can tell from the bullets, it just looks really, really weak. The range of this gun is really the only redeeming factor. It's, it, I guess the range isn't that, you know, isn't that bad, it, it works okay, I guess, but the damage is really not great. Again, like I said, just stay away from the secondary fire option. It doesn't seem to give you any sort of, uh, it, it probably does give you a damage buff. It probably increases the damage, but not by much and not uh, enough to justify, you know, spending the extra probably, two seconds to uh to, to you know to do the charge thing and sometimes you have to sort of wait it's got like a refractory period after you use it so if you use the charge let go of it it's it you can't always use it immediately immediately after you sometimes have to wait you know wait for you, i don't know like half second a second before you can use it again which makes that you know basically useless look how much this is freaking taken to kill this guy. This is on bronze, by the way. We're on bronze. This character that I'm playing with now is level 14. And I'm using a uh, a mod on my weapon that gives me 9% more assault rifle damage. A, a, an assault rifle barrel. I'm using a equipment upgrade which gives me 10% uh, extra assault rifle damage on top of that 9%. So we've got 19%. And I'm using a booster that gives me 15% extra assault rifle damage. So in total, that's what? That's like 34% extra damage. So imagine this without those boosts. And the reason I'm using these, this, these boosters and, you know, you, giving this gun an advantage is, you know, just to show you how bad it truly is, um, even with those advantages, even with those, you know, those boosters, and kind of maybe to stay away from this weapon, but I also just want to see for myself how, you know, if you can sort of redeem the weapon, look how long it's taken to kill this thing. If you can sort of redeem the weapon, redeem the, uh, the assault rifle, and make it good in any way, because honestly, it is the worst gun in the game as far as I can tell. I know there's a few pistols and stuff that and a few shotguns that really aren't you know that great but this gun is awful in my opinion definitely let me know what you guys think though you might some of you guys might like it this is version one of the gun which means you know you can get upgraded versions of it if you, you know, open enough packs um of the corresponding you know like rarity like so i think this is a silver weapon so if you open enough like silver packs like 20,000 credit packs you'll probably come across an upgrade for it that might improve the damage slightly but you probably have to go through about three or four of those upgrades before it's any like major increase of damage at all i'm using the turbo charge now to increase the rate of fire 
as you can see, it takes absolutely ages to kill this thing. It, like, just to kill the wraiths. I, I, I do not know what I'm going to do when the goddamn fiends start coming, when the boss type enemies. I have no idea what I'm going to do when those guys start coming. Uh, I'm probably going to run. Run away. Run the opposite way to those fiends and cry. Maybe, uh, you know, soil my underwear. Because I'm not using a secondary in this character. He's got great powers, but this is very supplemental. To, uh, to, to, you know, whatever weapon you're using. They're very based on the weaponry that you're using as this character. They're not good on their own. Like, really, this gun, uh, this ability there, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Because I haven't got it upgraded a lot. And the, uh, the incinerate doesn't do a lot of damage because I haven't put any skill points in it. So I'm basically useless at the moment, especially with this weapon. But yeah, like I said, the only sort of redeeming quality, like, base quality of this weapon has got to be the range. Like, I'll hit this guy in it now. The range is pretty damn good got decent range the fire rate is weird it's i don't even it's like a it's like a two round burst it's not even semi-automatic i can't really explain it uh i'd have to do like a controller cam to actually show you how i'm pressing it but it's like a, it's not semi-automatic it's not freely semi-automatic it feels like it's a two round burst it's really weird it's like the weirdest weapon in the game it is the oddest weapon in the game but if you can master this weapon i know there's some weapons in the game that are sort of very sort of uh, unique I, I could see this as a weapon that you could make you know you could master and actually make it work quite well and sort of incorporate it into some play styles maybe and make it work you know somewhat well um, it's just not a favorite of mine it's not one of my favorites it's, good. it's got a really weird name as well there's alkin it's not a gun that sounds you know badass or cool you know you got the black widow the eviscerator the uh, the piranha shotgun and then you've got the, the zalkin the zalkin it doesn't sound very cool it doesn't, you know, it, it wouldn't strike fear into the hearts of your enemies. So just don't men mention, don't mention the name of it when you take it into battle. And like I said, I'm playing my on bronze. This would be so useless on silver and gold. Look, it took like half of the clips down just to take that guy's health halfway down. And this guy, this character that I'm playing as, is nearly max rank. He's level 14, so he's getting quite close. So he's got like some of the damage bonuses that increase, you know, weapon damage. Look at this. Oh my god. I had to do a melee there. That was just so painful. Just like stood there watching as this guy just uh, chipping away at health, but he's not really bothered by it too much. Like, watch, watch. It's really not great against shields either. I would say it's probably a little bit better against shields than it is against health, because really the only thing you need to be good against shields, or the only thing a weapon needs to be, you know, decent or effective against shields is a good fire rate. Um, it helps if that, you know, that weapon's sort of like a charge thing, like it's sort of like a laser gun or a beam gun as opposed to like a ballistics gun that fires, you know, metal bullets. But really a high fire rate is all that a weapon really needs to be good at taking down shields. I would say this is probably going to be better for taking down shields than health if you've got to choose, but this is going to be useless on silver and gold. Even like, I'm, I've improved the gun in every way I can. Like I said, I'm using weapon mods to improve it. I've got a weapon, uh, an assault rifle barrel on it. I've got an assault rifle stock on it to make it 27% more stable when I shoot. You basically reduce the recoil by 27%. And I'm using like boosters and stuff. Using, like I said, I'm using a boost that increases the damage. And I'm using uh, something called combative upgrades, which is one of those, you know, that permanent equipment uh, upgrades that you can apply to your characters. You can get them at the store. I've done videos on it for anyone that's curious about it or hasn't, you know, hasn't seen them before. Uh, go check those out if you want. But yeah, I've got, I've even got that. That's like the most effective sort of upgrade you can apply to any character or any weapon uh, to help out and, and, you know, improve the weapon. And even then, it's terrible. This gun is awful. It's so bad at this point. And now we're on wave five, which is sort of like the boss wave when the boss enemies start coming. And uh, I'm about to go. I'm going to find a corner. I'm going to cry. Uh, this corner looks good. <laughs> oh, don't hurt me. Because honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do against the uh, fiends. I heard an ascendant. There's a guy down my ascendant. There's floaty space wizards that sort of just sort of bob around and shoot balls at you. Shoot like photon balls at you or whatever they're called. Um, I don't think this gun's going to be very good at this. Use. Uh, I don't think. I, I mean, it's got good accuracy, so it might be good against the uh, might be good against the orbs, but uh, where the hell is... Oh my god, i got to avoid that. I guess it's somewhat good at taking down the orbs because it's got a, a decent accuracy decent range decent accuracy it's going to be okay for taking down the orbs but the problem is it's got a terrible damage as you saw there i was literally i put about 12 bullets into that 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 ascendant orb that you know the the, the weak spot that you have to shoot to take the shield down I put about 12 bullets in and that it did nothing now i've mentioned in other videos and a lot of you guys have mentioned in the comments of my other videos that you know the the assault rifles need a massive buff a massive damage buff in the next patch 
Uh, and they really do. Most of the assault rifles are absolute bum. They're really crap. They really are. They're terrible. Uh, they, 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 I don't, I'm, I'm quite convinced that they're not actually shooting real bullets. They're, they're shooting like pieces of potato or something or, you know, just like pellets, like <laughs> foam pellets or something. Because a lot of them don't do a lot of damage. They really don't. Uh, but this has got a. This tops it up. This is like the worst, in my opinion. I don't know what that guy was doing, just like chilling out on the floor. It's like, nope, I don't want to fight. I don't want to go to battle. I just want to chill. I'll see how much how much damage this can do. See, watch his damage thing. I mean, these guys are like throwing him around like a freaking ragdoll right now, but it really did no damage there. Uh, I don't think I got any points for that, like any, you know, assist points or anything. This gun's so bad. In my opinion, this is irredeemable. It's not a good, it's not a good weapon. You can improve it, you know, by any, in any of those ways that I mentioned before, with weapon mods, with the equipment upgrades, with uh, boosters, but at the end of the day, it's still bad. It's still really bad. Um, if you get, if you're dead set on using this, if you really want to use this, I suppose you could use, uh, I suppose you could use sort of like a soldier character like this. I would go with the, the Tour and Havoc Trooper out of all of them, or any character or any player, uh, um, multiplayer character or class that has the turbo charge. Um, ability to increase the fire rate that little bit more and make it that little bit more effective It's gonna make it a little bit better at taking down shields and everything But apart from that, I don't think it would work well with any of the uh, Any of the other characters, especially not, you know Characters that like the infiltrator for example, the human infiltrator that are sort of like a high damage per shot playstyle That you know, they're more sort of suited to sniper rifles like one shot one shot one shot one kill sniper rifles this gun would not work very well. It would th that would probably be the worst class to use this gun with. If you're dead set on using this class, use it with a character that has got the turbo charge ability, which is the one that I've got on the left and right bumper right now. It increases the fire rate. Like like I said, this is the Torrin Havoc Trooper, but it is actually equipped on a few other and uh, other characters on other classes. But look how little that oh my god, it's so bad. Look how little damage it's doing. And I was using the goddamn uh the, the freaking turbocharge ability right then as well. That's it. It's, the fire rate isn't even that good. The only redeemable quality of this weapon is that the uh, the range is pretty good. The range is one of the best. I must admit, let me just shoot through this. See, look how long it took to shoot through that goddamn window as well. Uh, I do think the range is the only the only part of it that sort of improves. Uh, that's sort of a good point. That sort of can you know what the hell is that guy doing? I don't know what was up with that guy. I think the range is the only thing that's got to sort of make you think, oh, this is a pretty good weapon, but as soon as you see how little damage it's doing to people, uh, you're probably going to not want to use this gun. But like I said, if you're dead set on using it, use the Try and Havoc too, but uh, any character that has uh, weapon-focused abilities, you know, ones that sort of rely on the weapon you're using and improve the weapon you're using, like the turbocharged ability. But I cannot even begin to imagine how bad this would be on the, uh, the bronze and the gold, uh, silver and the gold. Uh, difficulties. That would be so bad and so crap on the silver and gold. It really, really would. I uh, I don't think I'm ever going to do that unless I do sort of... I, I guess it could be like a challenge video, like a terrible weapon challenge video. you gotta you got to survive a silver match or a gold match. It will be pretty damn fun to uh, do it through the people as well. And you're all like using the Zalkin. You're, you're, you're all using this terrible assault rifle. And, you know, on a silver or gold match and just see if you can survive with it. Probably not. You'll probably all die by like wave two or something. But I think it would make for an interesting, uh, interesting challenge. I've done the uh, the no weapons challenge before. That was I think that would be a lot easier than I think using no weapons would probably be even easier than using this weapon. That's how bad it is. I think um, having nothing to shoot enemies with and just relying on your pals would probably be like the superior option and the preferable option than using this gun. Because at least then you'd uh, have sort of the weapon and uh, the, the weapon weight advantage. You'd have no weapon weight or anything. I guess the ammo count is somewhat like kind of good 30 bullets per clip and you've got 200 in the reserve that's quite good 200 is quite good especially considering the fire rate isn't that fast so you're not going to burn through the bullets that quickly but in all of the key aspects that i mean range is like i said it's okay but in all the key aspects um rate of fire recoil and damage they're all they're all bad and without of the without all of the upgrades that i mentioned earlier on in the video that i've equipped on this weapon to make it that little bit better without those it would be even worse i don't even want to imagine how bad it would be without those upgrades god damn it, it would be so terrible it, it would be, uh, it would just be unusable at that point i mean with this i can sort of get a few kills um i wouldn't recommend playing with like a level one level two character you know like a, a low level character that you haven't played with much or if you're a new you know new to mass spec controller don't go for this weapon don't don't use this weapon at all uh, I got it quite early on. Oh crap, someone's getting freaking executed. I got this weapon pretty damn early on. 
Did I save that dude? I don't know if I saved Oh, I think I did. Oh, wait, no. He's <laughs> oh, no, he's just face planted on the floor. Poor guy. I tried to save him. I used two of my goddamn Cobra missiles. If that's not a good teammate, I don't know what is. These Cobra missiles are uh, expensive as anything. I should probably notice that. I didn't go for this weapon. I didn't go to use this weapon uh, when that guy started getting executed. Because I just know better now. I just know better. As I was saying, if you're new to the game, don't go for this weapon. I got this weapon quite early on. Uh, when it was quite a lot of a noob and you know a, a quite a big noob to mass effect and drum i got it when i was like level five or level six on my first character i was really excited as well it was one of like the, the first new weapons that i ever got and that, this is one of the worst uh new items that you could ever get I, I don't know why the game hates me enough to give me this i guess you could hit it with headshots it's not that hard to hit with headshots but even then it doesn't seem to do that much of a, a damage buff or the damage isn't great enough for it to really matter you're still not going to kill the enemies very quickly we're not even going to get a full extraction bonus there isn't even a goddamn silver line into this match because uh, that guy got wrecked back there <laughs> he was just like face planted on the floor i'm about to get wrecked by the space because of space balls i had to take cover oh crap someone's gone down we're getting wrecked by these goddamn space dogs behind them crap Freaking hell, this gun is useless, honestly. End of verdict, this gun is not good. I do not like this gun. Uh, definitely, the, at least in my opinion, the worst weapon in the game. I haven't unlocked every single weapon. I've probably unlocked about 80% of the weapons. So, you, you know, there's there's still sort of uh, potential for worst weapons. But in, out of all of the ones I've got, uh, I've got a lot of the assault rifles. Only I'm missing like two or three, I think. This is terrible. This gun is awful. It's not redeemable. The only redeeming quality is the fact that the range is pretty decent. But other than that, just don't use it. If you've got it, just ignore it. I've left it in my arm, like my armory or my inventory this long uh, for a reason. When I got it, I considered doing a video with it. I did, a, I did a warm up video. I was gonna do like a breakdown video and a showcase video of this gun. Uh, and then I realized how bad it was and I was like, nope, not doing it. It's honestly terrible. The Zalkin is awful. Don't go near it. I, uh, I was using so many light things that gave it advantage and it was it was awful. It really was. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed or found it useful. Stay away from this gun. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see any more of my videos, any more of my content, definitely stick around and subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.